Welcome to Coffee, Eggs and Inspiration. It's a weekly show that goes out of YouTube and as a podcast over all of the major channels. And each week, generally, I get to sit with an inspiring person and interview them, let them tell their story and share it with all of you. This week is different. We're in the lockdown period of COVID-19, so for obvious reasons, I'm not able to sit at least physically with people. I may try a few uh, video interviews later on. Uh, But this is uh, episode one of a new format. Uh, You voted for it. I put a post out on LinkedIn and gave a few options for pivoting my content. And uh, this was the most popular. It's called Lockdown Innovation Diary. And I'll be talking about an example of what I think is great creativity and uh, and a um, you know uh, innovation uh, by companies in the uh, in the current environment. Uh, but first, a, a, a few comments. If you're watching uh, this uh, from home, uh, spare a thought for people uh, who may be less fortunate than us, who may have lost jobs, uh, be struggling with cash flow or debt, or, or have living conditions less than ideal. Um, feel very grateful for uh, the situation that we find ourselves in and very thoughtful uh, and sympathetic towards those um, in less fortunate circumstances. We're doing uh, everything that we can in our local community to help those uh, who, are, who are perhaps uh, suffering a little bit uh, more than we are. Uh, and uh, I hope you will as well. Um, other observation is, isn't it interesting how a crisis brings a community together. It's a, it's a great unifier in many ways. Uh, I've never felt as close uh, as a community uh, to um, the people who live in, in Britain, uh, in London, and those who live in my local street, to my team members at work than I do now. And, uh, you know, our working practices just change completely, our living environment changes completely, and that has the tendency to bring a community together, which I think is a positive thing that's coming from this uh, otherwise gloomy situation. To the uh, innovation, uh, lockdown innovation diary, uh, I want to pull out this week, I'm using the screen share app so you can, you can hopefully uh, see uh, what I'm talking about here. Uh, the example I want to point to this week is the Crosstown Collective. It's a collective, as the name suggests, of three companies, the Estate Dairy, Crosstown Donuts, and Miller's Best Boat Bakery. You can see them listed at the top of the screen here, as well as a local veggie supplier. And these three businesses have got together and put together a weekly um, goodie box that gets delivered, if you live in London, gets delivered to your door. We just had our first delivery this week. It was full of absolutely delicious goodies, six Crosstown Donuts, uh, sourdough, uh, sourdough-based donuts, they're absolutely wonderful. If you haven't tried them, I, I definitely recommend them. Uh, and some uh, fantastic baked goods, some dairy goods, and some great vegetables. And uh, important to keep the diets uh, going nicely. I'll see if I can scroll down here. So there, there it is, the Crosstown Collective. I'll put the link below for those of you who are uh, watching just in the description there. But you can see the, the description here. Um, a bit of a, uh, a rationale for why they're doing this. I'll scroll down so you can read this. Essentials food box. I think we can fairly say that donuts are essential, particularly right now, so it's a good description. Locally curated, hand-delivered. And there we are. And there's some examples uh, of, the, uh, of the boxes. This one looks pretty similar to the one that we received some some great vegetables and fruit over here some baked goods you can see six crosstown donuts there and some dairy items over on the left hand side they also have a vegan box uh, for vegans out there so uh, a wonderful uh, alternative option you can see the inventory of items that you get here and a little button there to order it Um, what a wonderful idea and it's in, in times like these when businesses are totally disrupted that uh, innovation and creativity and the the entrepreneurial spirit really comes out. And I think the uh, collective represented in in Crosstown Collective is a great example of businesses that have pivoted their business model. Uh, Cash flow for many in the hospitality industry in particular will be a a, a real issue. And uh, this is a great example, I think, of a, a, a set of businesses who have pulled together 
innovated, come out with a new business model to keep the cash flow uh, running. And for all of us, of course, an opportunity to get these absolutely uh, wonderful items delivered to the door. Um, so uh, a great way to support uh, local business. That's it for this week. I'll, I'll keep them coming and please do comment and give me some feedback. This is the first time I've, d I've tried this format, so uh, a little bit clumsy perhaps, but uh, let me know what you think and any ideas that you have. And in particular, any ideas that you might have for other innovative or creative things that you've seen. Um, send, send me through those uh, suggestions either in the comments uh, on YouTube or in my LinkedIn profile, which is the main social platform that I use for uh, business purposes. Thanks and see you, uh, see you next week. Bye.